time this interview is out, Free Ridge is going to be out. So congratulations on that. What has that been like kind of building up to that release and soon having it out on such a global platform? Yeah, I mean, it's been so exciting. The announcement. So for a long time, it was like, a lot of people knew, like I said, I was, I'm based in New York, but we shot this out in LA. And so a lot of people in my, you know, community and my friends and everything knew that I was in LA shooting something and, and then like friends of friends, my parents, friends. And so they're like, what is it? Like, what are you working on? And I'm like, I'm not allowed to say yet. We haven't announced it. Um, so then when they announced it, that was really exciting because then everybody was like, oh my gosh, I know. And like, all of my cousins having watched on my block were like so thrilled and like it was just really that was when it re really became really cool before then it was like I can't really talk about it it was really fun it was really great and everyone's like what are you doing because you know on Instagram with like stories and stuff they were like what are you doing in, in LA for so long they're like I can't tell you I was like just hiking yeah <laughs> But as you said, this is a spinoff series of On My Block. Were you a fan of that show before booking this role? I I didn't I didn't watch it. You know, it's like it's for um uh like teen demographic. And so when I did book it and I did learn about it, I immediately like I was in <clears throat> LA and I just started like watching the episodes. And like I said, of course, like all of my cousins in McAllen are like such fans of the show so they were like what you don't oh my gosh da, da, da. I was like, okay okay fill me in fill me in um so that was really fun and then um also just knowing people who also work in this world um knowing their experiences on it so I have a friend who's on boo bitch um who worked with some of the people that are on this season of free ridge and so so that was really exciting too to have that crossover and just get to know like the greater community that is that is part of all all of these shows you know and how good everybody is in them and so um that was really fun and to get to like get that experience and learn it and kind of binge watch mm -hmm. and not have to wait like between seasons and stuff <laughs> I mean it's pretty it was pretty nice <laughs> Yeah. And I mean, what can fans of not only that show, but just Netflix series in general expect from the show as a whole? Just a lot of heart, a lot of fun, a lot of joy, a lot of humor, a lot of um, relatability. I mean, I, I just find it so incredible that, you know, this generation can see themselves so much on film and television in a way that I didn't have as much growing up. And so just that ability to kind of see yourself and your stories reflected back to you, young love, awkwardness, family relationships, heart, humility, just kind of like growing up and growing through the growing pains and seeing it through a lens that looks like you, mm -hmm. uh, I think is what you received in On My Block and and will continue to receive in Free Ridge. Yeah, and I know you said it was exciting to kind of join this world, I guess, but I'm wondering, what was it like stepping into your character and what was your inspiration for her? Could you talk more about that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so even with the audition, I I, I happened to um, travel to LA on my own while, I was, while the audition came up. Um, and so I was like in the bathroom because I, I like here in New York, I've got like my whole setup, you know, self tapes are a thing now. So we all have like lights and a background and la la la. And um, I was in LA when I, when I taped the second time for this. And so I was like in the bathroom, like turning lights on, like with my friend on like zoom reading with him. And we were just having so much fun. Like there's such love in Lucia and Javi's relationship too. And that was so easy to drop into, just the 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 newness of, of a new relationship, figuring out where you fit in within the dynamics of a partner's family. All of that is so easy for me to kind of navigate not easy in a way that I was like, oh, I know this, but it was, it was so relatable. It was like, I read the script and I was like, oh, this is just joyful. Like, this is just fun. Let's play with it. And um, kind of the girl's wariness of this new person in their life. Um, 
you know, and having that sense of wanting to, to win them over, but not being a pushover. Mm -hmm. So having fun with the dynamic of that, um, I thought was just really fun to, to drop into. And I had so much fun with my friend who was reading with me, um, that I even, I think I was even like, I want to do it again, just to like do it. Cause like, that was really fun. That like scene was really fun. Like, let's just do it again. Well, that's always a good sign. Yeah. We were just like making each other laugh. And so, um, yeah, I just found it. I think sometimes when you connect really quickly with a character, it doesn't take long to pick up the lines or pick up the emotional beats. It just kind of lives in you. And so, yeah, I very quickly felt that with Lucia. And so, it was nice to to um, to then get to further build with her. You know? mm -hmm. and I'm wondering, there are so many beautifully shot moments in this series, but I'm wondering, do you have a favorite moment or memory from your time on set? Yeah, for sure. So it was my first day, our first week, which in and of itself was really cool because I've been in shows before that have been established. So mm -hmm. they've been on for seasons and seasons and then coming into it and, and getting to know everybody um, is super fun and exciting in, in one sense, but it's like a totally different thing when like you go in and it, nothing has been created yet. You know, it's a spinoff of, but it's its own entity as well. And so it was like all of our first times together, you know, starting to, to create this story together. So that first day for me was really exciting because we were all kind of like, it's like the first day of school, you know, like at a new school, you're like, hi, nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. It's all, you know, we're all in the same boat together. So that was fun in one sense, but our first scene or the first scene I did, we were all sitting at a kitchen table and, you know, it's, JP who who plays Javi um, and Kayla and Brianna who play Gloria and Ines the four of us are all sitting at a table and you know between takes we're just like chatting and the biggest thing that stuck out to me is how similar those conversations were to conversations I would have with like my cousins and my theos and my theos growing up like I've never had that experience on a set either where mm -hmm. it was just like the jokes we were making or the points that we were relating to or something it just felt very um, at home yeah. in a way that made me super comfortable in a, in a really new way. Like I just, I just hadn't had that experience before. So that moment always stuck with me, just us like laughing at the table and the girls are like the sweetest <laughs> and then they have to be so mean to me. So it was always like so funny because they're like so nice. And then they were like, no, who is this? You know, like, <laughs> so funny to kind of like uh, just get to get to know them and then get to know them as Lucia, you know? Yeah, and I mean, from what you've said and even from the social media presence of the show, it, you all seem very close and like tight knit as a cast. I'm wondering, have you guys talked about a possible season two and what you guys would wanna see for it? I mean, well, you know, I would just love it. <laughs> 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 they they're everyone is just like so wonderful and lovely to work with and like I said um like uh, some of the cast um Michael um Kayla I know and um a few others had worked on Boo Bitch together before and they were friends with a friend of mine Mason so in in going on the show and already knowing him, I felt like they all carried the same energy. And so I already knew him. So it was really easy to just fall in love with them as well. Just mm -hmm. like, first of all, super hardworking, super talented, and then really easy to talk to, fun, caring, just like lovely, chill, you know, between takes, we'd make jokes. Kayla is just one of the most... I'd already seen her on Curb Your Enthusiasm mm -hmm. and was like such a fan, so impressed. She is absolutely hilarious. Um, so, so yeah, it was just kind of easy to kind of fall into step with everybody. Uh, and um, I think that obviously shows through the work because um, then you, you get into work mode and, and that, camaraderie is already established you know really authentically mm -hmm, definitely and if you could describe this season as a whole in three words what would they be oh, supernatural 
Um, joyful and familia. Okay. Yeah. And my last question for you, I know this release is exciting and it's coming up fast, but do you have any future projects that you can hint at or talk about? Um, yeah, I, I shot a movie, um, in October, uh, that will be actually, I still need to figure out when it's going to kind of be coming out, but stay tuned for, for all of that info. But yeah, um, I shot a romantic comedy, which again, is just so fun for me. I, I think, um, you know, they talk about the, the revival of the, ro the rom-com, mm -hmm. um, and, I could not be here for it more. Like <laughs> I, I love drama as well, but just getting to, to explore the dynamics of like falling in love and all the things that can go wrong and all the things that can go right in it is, and always has been a favorite thing of mine. Like as a kid, rom-coms were like it. So, um, so yeah, that's, that'll be upcoming. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear about it and watch it and congratulations on everything again. Thank you so much. It yeah. was really, really fun chatting with you. I, I 